back to the charts for Big Boss Crypto, bring on our day trading analysis on Bitcoin and on AVEX. Bitcoin is moving sideways while some altcoins are bleeding to the downside. What does that mean? Well, let's take a look at charts. So zooming out a bit, we can see that we're still in our uptrend. However, as I said to you last time, if we break this zone at 38.5k, we have what is called a double top formation, which is an indication of a trend reversal. And if we break that and confirm it on the daily time frame and hold below it, then the next targets are possibly to the volume candles which have been uncovered. To find these volume candles, you search in the indicator uh, search bar and search for PVSRA. And then you can mark off in the chart where those are. So when you see for example, a green candle like this, you mark off the zone because we're going to tap into that zone eventually, sooner or later. So Bitcoin is moving sideways for the last couple of days, a couple of spikes above and below, but around 40k. We have an unrecovered volume candle all the way up to 46k. We've recovered almost half of this candle, which is clearly enough to grab a lot of open orders in that zone. So I do think we could possibly see some kind of a reversal. We haven't had a retest, retest of the 30k level yet. We just blew right through it. So I do think it's healthy to tap into that zone one more time before we load up for the giga bull run which is coming possibly this year. So that's the zone to break 38.5k. Other than that, I do think we could tap into 45k one more time to lure in some longs, thinking that the bull is on, and then they're gonna drop it heavily to the downside. That is something I'm looking at least. I'm not going short until we break the 38.5k, however, because then we're going possibly lower to recover these falling counts. This is not financial advice, this is just for education and entertainment purposes only. Looking at new zones for this week, pretty dead except for the unemployment claims coming out on Thursday. Other than that, a free week to trade. We haven't had much going on this week. Looking at the liquidation map, you can see a lot of orders are stacked here around 43.6, 130 million dollars uh, approximately in the 43.6k area to get liquidated so the market maker could grab a nice profit to tap into the zone and yeah it would trigger a lot of longs because they think we've broken out some pattern or flag or whatever you they call it learning some longs and then bam reverse to the downside because we have some liquidation points at 42k as well 140 million serious money and above we have 104 million as well at 42.2k so yeah it would be great to tap into that zone, lure in some longs, clear those open orders in that volume candle which I showed you and then reverse to the downside. Now let's take a look at AVAX. I haven't looked at AVAX for a while on this channel, so it would be great to have a little reminder of where we are in terms of the market make structure. And the market make structure, as you know, is always something like this, double bottom formation, first leg up, first retrace, second leg up, the second retrace, third and final leg up and that is where we form double top formation of some kind and we reverse in three steps all over again forming the double bottom formation at the lows and moving out there possibly in a more explosive move to the upside when we are in a bull run and in a reverse order if you are in a bear market so we had a double bottom formation which i showed you if you remember if you followed this channel around october last year we've had an explosive run to the upside First leg down, or sorry, yeah, exactly. This is some kind of irregular move, which is kind of interesting because I do think we had this as a first high, this as a second high, and then this could possibly be the double top formation, depending on how Bitcoin behaves. So that's interesting, interesting to see, nevertheless, 
I do think if we stay in this kind of movement or this pace of the movement, I do think we could tap into the 20s again. Uh, low 20s, high teens. Uh, so this one can possibly could be tap into going down to possibly $15 and then we have our double bottom formation and we move out of there. That's something I'm looking at least. I think possibly that this is the local low of the double top formation. We broke out of it, we tapped into that zone again, and then we could move to the downside one more time. That's something I'm looking at least. And when we see a clear double bottom formation, that is possibly where you load up, not financial advice. But last time it was pretty clear, and I told you in that zone, wow, what a nice opportunity when we broke out of this double bottom formation. It was at uh, November 1st last year. So you can go back and check the videos from that time when I talked about AVAX. I told you great double bottom formation, load up on some longs. And yeah, it paid off eventually. Not financial advice, but this is something I'm looking at all the time because they create these kind of patterns. Sometimes it's not as clear as it was here. Sometimes it looks like something like this. Sometimes, sometimes the second bottom is lower than the first. Yeah, you have to figure that out because they don't <laughs> tell you. And yeah, that's the name of the game. I hope you learned something today. Have a good one. Big Boss out.